a refugee from Afghanistan who arrived in Dover with his young family in the back of a refrigerated lorry, has been awarded an MBE in the 2023 New Year's Honours list. On the 12th of December, he was invited to Windsor Castle along with his family to receive the MBE award. Dr. Nouro Haknasimi is the founder and director of the Afghanistan and Central Asian Association, a London-based charity that offers education, mentoring and support to refugees living in the UK and advocates for the rights of women living in Afghanistan. One of the most important lessons I've learnt from my father is to never give up. Um, it's a trait that he has passed on not only to his children but to many other colleagues, friends, volunteers, interns and staff that when you have a mission, when you have an objective, work incredibly tirelessly to make it happen and this is why we're here to celebrate him today. Being awarded an MBE. This is a tremendous achievement of which I'm sure you're immensely proud. It's an achievement that most, of, most Britons never hold and it is a testament to the work you've done not only for the people from Afghanistan and, and other nations who have sought refuge here but of the work you've done in terms of helping those new arrivals to this country integrate and advance new lives in the new home of Britain. Yes, well congratulations sincerely Dr. Sami. You really deserve this and I know this award is just a start. If I had to describe my father in three words it would be ambitious, hardworking and incredibly intelligent. Dedicated approachable and strategic. Good morning, I'm at the Afghanistan and Central Asian Association in Feltham. Dr. Nur al-Haq Nasimi. To Dr. Nur al-Haq Nasimi, founder and director of the Afghanistan and Central Asian Association. To be honest, uh, I wasn't aware. I didn't know that I will eventually receive an important award such as MBE and of course the reaction was very very excited the reaction was very positive the reaction was very uh, pleased for myself and for the entire my community in the United Kingdom. In addition to its main office in Feltham, London, the ACA operates office branches in Birmingham and Liverpool. The association also offers in-person classes in Kent, Manchester and Eastbourne, utilising local community centres for these sessions. Furthermore, the ACA provides online classes that are accessible to people across the UK, including sections specific to those in Blackburn and Staffordshire. Hey Dad, it's me. Um, you probably didn't expect to hear a message from me as part of this video package, but I thought, why not? Um, I'm really proud of you um, achieving this high level of honour, having an MBE, um, and it really goes to show how much you've done over the past, what, 24 years or so, um, since we arrived and I was uh, five years old. I think you, you, you'd probably still think there's a long way to go, but just remember that this is a key milestone and it's one to celebrate. And I hope everyone is as proud as I am that we have someone from um, Afghanistan with this level of honour as part of the British Empire. And I hope you continue to shine, you use this as leverage for future and um, continue to make us proud. So thank you so much and thanks for being an inspiration for all of us and, and the wider refugee community. Thank you. Congratulations, Dr. Nasimi. Your latest award, the MBE no less, is recognition for all your hard work on behalf of refugees, which began over two decades ago when you started the charity, the ACAA. The honour highlights the huge contribution that you have made and continue to make to refugee communities around this country in London, Birmingham and beyond. In a world where there's so much cruelty, 
You demonstrate what can be achieved when people act with compassion and kindness. I'm so pleased for you and wish you and your family a healthy and happy 2024. Only in three words. Um, I think the best one would be great leader, passionate, determined. Uh, Dr. Nassim is a good leader, um, he's very supportive and I could have said he's a very hard worker. Leader, independent, visionary. They might tell you Dr. Nassim is someone with a great passion, with a great vision, with a great motivation. Helpful, hard worker and very friendly. I think Dr. Nassimi, he's a very kind person, he's very confident and also he's a very good leader. Janabai Dr. Nassimi, I am a member of the country with a experience from Afghanistan, a political leader who is especially in the defense of women and children. This is a pleasure uh, message for all Afghanistani communities in the United Kingdom that Mr. Dr. Nassimi receiving MBA award. We all are proud uh, that he is um, uh, our leader. I'm very proud to call you my father. Um, not only have you been a role model to myself and my siblings, but to many refugees um, around the world. And I will forever cherish your hard work. I feel that I've seen Dr. Nasimi not only as the director of the organization but also as a public figure, a leader, one who engages with the community, one who devises new strategies, who understands the needs of the community, sits with them, listens and um, implements the changes that he wants to see. Um, usually in organizations, in companies, in charities, we see directors just sitting on their desk all day but I've always seen Dr. Nasimi um, roaming around the building, seeing if, if everything is in place, um, if the staff members are doing the duties, if the community is being served. Dr. Nasimi is extremely hardworking. I've witnessed this firsthand. He spends seven days a week in our centre and is constantly working and thinking about the people back home in Afghanistan and how we can support them and has never forgotten his roots. In 2018, the charity was given a Queen's Award for Voluntary Services. In 2020, Dr. Nasimi received the British Citizen Award. Dr. Nasimi's children have grown up and become successful adults with positions in the civil service and the private sector. His latest honour acknowledges the contribution he's made for refugee communities in London and beyond and demonstrates what a refugee can achieve in the United Kingdom. Everyone is encouraged to join in congratulating Dr. Nasimi on his MBE and celebrating the significant impact of the ACAA. When I wake up at half past six or seven, I'm thinking how many more people will come to the center to get some advice or support. And this makes me very pleased that every day I'm meeting new faces, every day I'm meeting new people, and every day we are helping others to have a better life in the United Kingdom. So my message to the youngest generation as well as to those who are new in the United Kingdom is to make sure they can learn English language. They will apply for higher education. They will improve and expand their skills and knowledge about the system and then contributing their skill to the British society as well as helping their people back home.
there is no one who deserves this in me more than you. I have witnessed your tireless effort since we arrived to the UK in 1999 to support the refugee community. I am very proud of you and how far we have come.